Yeah, the future for ASF uh, in the field of SAR is really exciting. Uh, for there's two big projects that are coming in here in the next in the near future. Uh, the NICER mission is going to launch. That mission will bring enormous volumes of highly valuable Earth observation data to the community through ASF. ASF is going to be the main data center. Uh, NISA is going to uh, create uh, up to 50 petabytes of uh, Earth observation data per year. And through its mission lifetime, will actually create more uh, bits and bytes of data than NASA total in its totality holds in its archives these days. It's an enormous amount of data. Uh, so ASF will help the community leverage this data set um, by uh, you know, doing education training, by providing higher level products, and by allowing people to come in and actually work with the data set directly at the archive. A second project that we're really excited about is called Opera. Um, this is uh, a project run out of uh, JPL. It was funded through what's called the Satellite Needs Working Group, which is a, a working group of all the big um, government agencies in the United States. They meet annually to make recommendations to NASA for products that they would like to see. And as part of this, the community got funded um, to create large-scale, up to global, higher-level data products from SAR. So we'll have um, surface water extent products uh, that will be created. We have um, North America-wide wide, uh, surface deformation maps that are going to be really exciting. And ASF is going to be a, a pivotal part uh, of this project. We are a data source, we are providing all the input data for the project, but we also a, a data sync uh, for some of the products that come out of Opera. And so both of those are going to enable an enormous amount of new research and an enormous amount of new discovery uh, over the next few years.